Champagne, our first single came out, um, it went number one pretty quickly. I mean, we, we kind of knew it was going to be a pretty big hit. It's, you know, it's, it has that catchy chorus and it's just, it's just a rocking song. I mean, we, the funny thing about that song is we wrote that song literally in about 15 minutes. You know, it's like the old cliche. It hit number one right around August 11th, which was cool because we came through, we were on Crew Fest throughout the last summer through 09, and uh, we came through St. Louis. And the St. Louis date, the song hit number one the day we came to St. Louis. So our hometown was just like totally cheering us and we we're all stoked. You know, we go from playing two years prior to that for 100 people, then go walking on stage playing in front of 5,000. I'll be honest with you, I'm not the drummer that reads Drummer Magazine. I don't have, I don't read really Epton on anything. I just like, I watch a drummer play, I watch the style, I see what he plays on, I like his sound, I go with that. That's what I've done. Actually, it was a funny story. A good friend of ours who actually did uh, with Daughtry, when we started Daughtry back in October, a guy named Kevin Carter um, was part of the uh, security for Daughtry. He was friends with uh, one of the reps from D-Drum. You know, D-Drum really stepped up. You know, they really like made me feel part of the family. Um, you know, we got the kit, I played on it. It was a, um, it's actually called Trans Black, the very first kit I had back in, I think it was October. So I went right on the Dodger tour playing in front of 8,000, 10,000 people on this new kit, you know, and it was, it sounded amazing. You know, I'm a, I come from a background of like the Tommy Lee and the, you know, the hard rock drummers. I'm a hard hitting drummer. I like loud, thick, huge sounds. So I play on the 24 and 2024 kick. So that was my biggest concern was that were you guys gonna be able to, you know, accommodate my sizes, 18 inch floor toms you know, 16 inch four times. So they did, they sent them out to me, I played on them, they just, they're just like cannons. Plus playing in arenas, you know, it, it makes it even more exciting when you kick the drummer from 10,000 people and it just shakes the place. I just got off the Daughtry tour, and we're getting ready to go out on our um, our own private in our own club tours. I called up, you know, my rep, and I was just like, "Listen, this is just a shot in the dark." I was looking at maybe working at getting another kit, maybe doing something different, a little more poppy as far as colors. I love the Dio's kit. I want to stick to that because that's, you know, I'm happy with them. And he was like, "Yeah, sure, you know, Chad, whatever you need, you know, what do you want to play on?" So I went crazy, and I, as you guys saw earlier, I went with every different color sparkle kit you guys make. Um, I kind of went with a different mix and match type thing. Uh, obviously, I've got different colors. I wanted to go with something completely different. I, I play on the uh, the Dios Maple kit, 24 inch kick, 10 inch rack tom. I play two 16 inch floors. I kind of tune the left one a little bit higher than the right one. And of course, I play on the uh, big pounding 18 inch floor tom. And I just I'm really stoked. I just got the new Vinnie Paul double pedal. That uh, it's actually my third show on it, but so far I'm just loving it. I've got two snares. I've got one, I, I have names for it, so I got a lollipop. It's actually the um, a maple, seven ply maple snare. So I wanted something really warm and really like had a lot of punch to it. Cause I've been used to playing a little more thicker marching snares. Really solid, it's heavy. It's got, I mean, I don't know the definition of what I like. I just like something that just feels like a cannon, like a marching cannon. Like you, you think of some of the old vulgar display of power tracks and you know, just like some old Dave Grohl tracks. Just that throaty, hard hitting, just you can feel like a kick drum. Bass. The drums themselves, I mean, are, I mean, they're solid, they're built really good. It's just if there's any problems you can call. I have a drum tech that's, you know, is good at friends and has a good relationship with with our actual rep that, as I do, as the artist. But, you know, if I have a problem from a lug bending, I, I'll get, you know, shipped to me overnight in, in a day. And that's to me is what's, what really matters. And it's not about just a band being a successful huge band. It's, it's about just, I think it's about the whole like, taking, I think the D drum really takes the, the artist and the band and tries to make part of the family as much as I am. They know exactly, they're proactive as much as I am. Hey.